Hi, let's dive deeper into the I Want It All bundle. Installation. If you do not have the AE Juice Pack Manager plugin installed, you could download it from the Thank You page or Main page at any time. Make sure After Effects is closed. The installation process usually takes a few seconds. Press Next. Select You After Effects version and press Continue. Now, let's open After Effects. You'll find the Pack Manager under the Windows tab. The only thing is to log in. Press Account, Log In. Enter your email address, uh, the one you used on the AE Juice website, and your password. You can see all the purchase packages under the Purchase section now. The little cloud icon near the name means the package will be downloaded from the cloud. To download it, click on the box. The whole bundle takes about 5 gigabytes of space. Now you can download any of the packages individually. You can also remove any of the unused packages. Sometimes you might have a slow or abrupt internet connection. No worries, you can install packages manually. Manual installation. If the download is stuck, doesn't start, or takes too long, cancel it. Click on the account, Manual Installation. Click on the AE Juice. It will open the Downloads page. Download the package from the website. Once the download is complete, open the zip file and search for the Install Manually folder. You'll need only the file inside this folder. Unzip it to your desktop or any other location. Go back to After Effects and press the green button. Select the file with .aej extension. All set. Now you can remove the file from your computer and use your package. In case the download from the website does not work for you either, please contact the support chat and we'll provide you with alternative backup download links. Licenses. All licenses are single user licenses. Now, that means the license can be used by one person. However, you can use the license on two computers at the same time. You can switch computers with no problem. If you need additional computers or additional licenses, check our support center for more information. Key features. Once you download the package, click on the box to open it. Each package will open in a separate tab. You can open as many packages at the same time as you'd like. Another cool thing to know is you can use a shortcut, Control plus Tab, to open and close the plugin. It can stay out of your way as soon as you're done working with it, and when you open it the next time, all open tabs will stay where they were. You can change the shortcut in the settings. Now, these are global settings for the plugin. Mostly, you might need to adjust individual usability settings like scroll speed, zoom, and autoplay behavior. All right, back to the packages. There are four ways to import. You can drag and drop, double click, press enter, or press import. Some of the packages use the exact drag and drop cursor coordinates, so it's easier for you to import an element exactly where you want it to be. And some packages ignore the cursor coordinates where it makes sense, for example, transitions. You'd want them to stay in the center and cover the whole screen. Oh, speaking about the import, sometimes you might need to import multiple objects. Everything works as you'd expect. You can select multiple elements by holding Control or Command on a Mac, of shift buttons and import all of them at once. Adjust the plugin size and preview sizes. You can play all the previews at once or only on mouse over. The option from the settings I mentioned earlier allows you to play all previews at once, but only when the mouse is over the plugin. Folders on the left side. Hide them using this button. Press it again to unhide them. You can save any element to favorites to access it later. All favorites are saved here. Search. Type a few letters and the plugin will search in all packages, all elements, and all tags associated with each element. Now, some of the packages have their own settings or styles. You'll find them on the bottom right corner. For example, this style button changes the look of a whole package. If I select the glow style, all 1000 elements will be imported with the applied glow effect. Some of the packages have special power buttons. They are always in orange. For example, this Create button launches the whole new interface to help you create a slideshow, and this Animate button will animate any scene in one click. You can watch more about how it works in the Slides Vintage Collection and Animation Presets Bundle tutorials. Now, you might have noticed the Total Save section. 
If you click on the amount, you'll see more detailed information. This simple calculator counts how much time and money the plugin saved you. On average, one import saves 15 minutes. You can modify this value as well as your hourly rate. This level of transparency allows you to see if the bundle was worth it. In my case, it surely was. To sum it up, your workflow might look like this. You press a shortcut to call the plugin, drag and drop an element, press a shortcut again to close the plugin. It takes no space on your screen and it's very fast. We test it in very heavy projects, so it works smoothly in any circumstances. Now, let's jump to individual packages. At the moment of this recording, there are 36 different categories. Categories are named in such a way that you can quickly locate related elements like water or fire, but at the same time, names are very detailed. For example, water bubbles, water drops, water splashes, or waves. When I get my hands on a new package, I go through it and add the elements I like the most to the favorites. As you can see, I've got a lot of them saved here, and this will help you be more efficient in the future. There are some looped categories. Let's add a cigarette smoke to our scene. An element loops by default. There is no need to make adjustments. It just works out of the box. Now, I love the new noise category. We created the whole 30 second project based on these elements. I imagine that you would need a lot of them in one scene. Just select a bunch and drag and drop. Organize them slightly and move on with your day. There are some popular categories like smoke, explosions, lightning, or fire, as well as rarer categories like glass cracks, lava lamps, and geometry loops. Check out this liquid category, which saved my life on one project. We had a tight deadline and needed to create a scene with a wine glass. The client wanted to add some flavor. It's subtle, but it makes a difference. You can use it as coffee, water, or any other liquid. If you'd like to preview all the categories, you can download the Pack Manager at aejuice.com or check out the web preview at aejuice.com slash product slash liquid hyphen elements. Styles. Let me tell you about another feature I love, styles. You can change how the package looks in just one click. Press settings. I love the doodle style, so let's check it out. The style will be applied only after import. How cool is that? Let's try another one. Glow. All of the styles have controls. Go to effects controls and play with the settings. Wow, this looks impressive. Let me introduce what's new in the latest Liquid Elements update. Color control. Now you can control the color of the whole package in one click. The color applies as a fill effect during the import, and you can see all other objects in the scene. If you'd like to change color for multiple elements after the import, you can change the color for one of them and copy and paste the fill effect to others. This feature also works with all other styles. Another new feature is the alpha footage style. By default, you've pre-selected images as an example. You can use those or select your own photos or videos. Also, they're pre-composed with an element, so you can easily move them around and your timeline will be much cleaner. Go to Settings and choose a folder with your assets. Your images will be applied as alpha footage for elements. This button will remove all unused elements with one click. We also added 100 new animations in six different categories. Check out the music video we made using only liquid elements. It took two days from receiving a client's brief to completing the project, and it also includes some changes the client requested. <laughs> yeah, I know. The tutorial covers 2D, 3D, and text presets. They all have the same structure. Once you know how to use one of them, you know how to use all of them. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll use 2D presets and demonstrate a few examples with 3D and text presets in the end. This is a pack of 2D presets. Let's take a look at what it can do. Automatic animation. 
I want something fast. I press an animate button. Looks great. I press it again to try other options. Perfect. Manual animation. First, I select a layer. Then I browse presets. Now I drag a preset to the layer. Looks good, but I'd like to change out animation and direction. I look for another preset. I like this one. I grab it by the right corner and drop it in my composition. Now it's better, but still a little slow. I move the marker to adjust the speed. Perfect. How it works. Select a layer. Drag and drop the preset to apply it. By default, in and out animation will be applied. Grab the preset by the corner to apply only one of them. Change direction simply by dropping preset to the desired location relative to your composition. In animation starts from the endpoint of the layer and ends at the end marker. You can move an endpoint of the layer or the marker to adjust the speed. Start position, scale, and rotation values are taken from effect controls. End values are the values after the marker. Now you can easily change both at any time. Press Controls button to quickly access Effect Controls panel. To edit end position, scale, or rotation, simply change it as you'd normally do in After Effects. Presets are very smart and they work with your existing keyframes. And you can add or remove keyframes at any time as well. New preset automatically replaces old preset. Select multiple layers to apply the preset to all of them. AE Juice Shifter. Stagger. Select layers or out point and press stagger. Layers will be staggered by the selected pattern. Align. Select layers and press at end point, end marker, out marker, or out point. Layers will be aligned to a current time indicator in the composition. Settings. Each tool has a quick tip. Hover over with the mouse to see it. Cut, copy, paste preset. Press cut or copy and choose between in plus out, in or out animations. It will cut or copy selected animations and you'll be able to paste them to any other layer. It also works with multiple presets. Update button will restore the original marker position. It's helpful when you trimmed layers and need to update animations. The Reset button will restore an original marker position and default preset values. Remove Preset. You can remove a preset by removing a marker. However, we recommend using the Remove button. Let's take a look at 3D and text presets. Switch between packs using tabs. Now you can see the same Animate button, Settings, In and Out animations. You can easily combine packs. For example, use 3D preset for an in animation and text preset for out animation. Select these two presets from different packs and you can easily copy and paste them to different layers. As you can see, all the presets work perfectly with each other. I'll show you what's new in the Animation Presets Bundle version 2. Now you can convert presets from expressions into regular keyframes. Select one of the three Ease options. You can tune the animations in any way you want. Keyframes render much faster than expressions, and you have more control over the animation. Switch between different eases in one click. Pro users might use it as a baseline for the custom animation. If you don't like the default eases, you can replace them to your favorite eases in the settings. Experiment as much as you'd like. Also, you can select Bounce Mode and quickly switch between number of bounces. Now it's easy to locate the preset. Press a search icon and the selected preset will be opened in the plugin. Press it multiple times to jump to the next preset. Text presets got an updated Ease animations. Now they are much smoother and will fit more projects. We added bounce animations as well. Animation Presets version 2 had a huge success and we immediately jumped to work on version 3. Let me introduce it. We added a library for keyframes eases. Now you can press the browse button in the settings and select any animation you like. You can use it as a starting point and any custom adjustments later. You can browse different bounce animations as well. 
While you're working on a project, it might be a good idea to disable the motion blur for faster render. Absolutely new features for people who own an animation presets bundle. Now, you do not need the plugin to take any space. Select layers you would like to animate and press a Control Shift Tab shortcut. It's done. Don't like an animation? Press a shortcut again. You can also choose to use the only favorite presets. Just imagine, you set up your favorite keyframes, favorite presets, and never open the plugin again. Only use the shortcut. It is so smart that it even determines if you press the shortcut accidentally. This tutorial will show you how to use Slides Vintage Collection. There are two ways, automatic and manual. Let's start with automatic. Press the Create button. The first step is to choose a style. Hold Control or Command on Mac to select multiple styles. We recommend selecting no more than three to four styles so they look good together. Once you're done, press Continue. The second step is to select your music. You can select any song you'd like. Press Continue. The built-in algorithm will analyze the song and suggest the best amount of photos. We recommend selecting exactly the recommended amount so you could get the best result possible. However, you can select photos in the recommended range and still get an excellent result. Press Create. That's it! The process usually takes a few minutes. You can track the progress right here. Now make sure everything looks good and send your slideshow to render. Now let's see how to create beautiful slideshows manually. Preview all slides inside AE Juice Pack Manager. Drag and drop the desired slide on the timeline. Adjust the timing and double click to put the photo in the placeholder. There are also a few settings on the controls layer for professional users. That being said, you'll rarely need to do some manual adjustments. The automatic algorithm has been tested on 10 million songs, and it consistently produces great slideshows. Improve your slideshows with a special X Assets category. You can find color corrections, film dust, projector lights, and camera lens flares. Press Import or drag and drop the preset to your timeline. Now please keep in mind, even though these presets can improve the look of your slideshow, they can also increase the render time. Not many people know, but you can make your slideshows in white color. It could be a great solution for a wedding slideshows. Once you added the slide to the timeline, double click on it and select Controls Layer. Open Effect Controls window and turn this checkbox on. So you're ready to show your slideshow to the world. We recommend using Adobe Media Encoder for export. Press Composition, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue, and in Export Settings, select H.264. We recommend this format because it has the best size and quality. It will perfectly work for sharing on social media or messengers. Turn the Use Maximum Render Quality checkbox. Press OK and start rendering. Stay creative, AE Juice.